Hi, I'm Tim Gray and I'm here with Mikkel Oland. Together we authored the video tutorial title Lightroom 3 Learn by Video. So we got a chance, Mikkel, to work with Lightroom 3 pretty extensively as we were producing these videos. Is there one feature that stands out as being your favorite? Oh boy, Tim, thanks. <laughs> one feature, that's really nice of you. You know there's more than one, but it, okay, you're putting me on the spot. Um, I absolutely think it's fantastic with the new process version. I mean, uh, I wish I'd come up with this, but our friend Katrina Eisman came up with it. She said, you're not getting new software, you're getting a new camera. Right. So it, what's happening underneath the hood uh, is that Lightroom is, is processing your raw files from your earlier shots, your previous shots. Completely new algorithms. Absolutely totally new. <laughs> so uh, noise reduction, sharpening, yeah. color, everything. You're getting fantastic results out of Lightroom 3 that, you know, we were pretty happy in Lightroom 2. Sure. But, but now, right away, right out of the box, you're getting some great improvements in, in the image quality. No, I, I noticed this the first time I brought a catalog in from Lightroom 2 into Lightroom 3. Mm -hmm. Even the images that I had already optimized in the develop module with Lightroom 2, mm -hmm. when they came into Lightroom 3, you know, you see the initial preview and then it updates when the engine has a chance to process yeah. the image, and they look better. <laughs> they look better than they had previously, yeah. even though I'm the one who had made the adjustments. And there's nothing to do. It's just auto it's automatic. Right. So this is great. What about you? I'll throw it back at you. Yeah, top feature. I think, <laughs> you know, it, it's interesting because I tend not to think too much about print. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I certainly print plenty of images, but it tends not to be my focus. Mm -hmm. And I've tended to think of the printing in Lightroom 3, well, in Lightroom in general, mm -hmm. as being focused more toward, you know, portrait and wedding photographers, mm -hmm. people who need to produce contact sheets or print packages to we, share with clients, for example. It's amazing how easy it is to do. It, it's very yeah. simple, but it's just, it's not a feature that I really put to use very often. Okay. But suddenly with Lightroom 3, mm -hmm. there's the ability to create these custom print packages. Wow, the layout, custom layout. Exactly, yeah. and layout yeah. I think is the right yeah. word here because yeah. it no longer feels yeah. like it's just a print package. Mm -hmm. Like we're just sending multiple images to the printer all on the same page mm -hmm. because now we can c control the layout. We right. can move these images around, resize each individual image, add as many images and as we want. Multiple different images. As exactly. As, uh, before it was had to be the same image. Exactly, yeah. and so we've got the ability to really customize this. And so I think yeah. of it more as producing a montage, producing a new piece of art almost, yeah, as opposed point. to simply creating a printout that has multiple images on yeah. it. I know a lot of photographers have been very happy with the print capabilities in Lightroom and preferred that over other right. applications. Uh, but now with this new feature, it's even more exciting. Well, right? it's gone from being a streamlined, efficient print process hmm. to now having a really interesting creative element as yeah, well. good way. That's a nice way to put it. So, Michael, what would you say is your next favorite feature in Lightroom? Yeah. This is this is really hard because there really are a lot. But if you're going to put me on the spot, it's going to be lens corrections okay. in the development module because I think that is so cool. Remember that photograph I took of you and Graz with the fisheye lens? Yes, yes. I looked the a little distorted there. No, yeah. You look great. <laughs> but I've always been envious of the, the camera manufacturer software that would automatically uh, fix those uh, those distorted... Yeah, it, would, it would read the EXIF metadata, know which lens you used and how to compensate yeah, for it. and Lightroom didn't. But now it does. Right. So if you have a Nikon or a Canon or a Sigma lens, uh, a lot of those lenses, it'll automatically read from the EXIF data yeah, profile what the lens and not only the lens, but the size of the sensor, so right. it matches those two together, and then it fixes for the chromatic aberrations, it fixes for distortions, for vignetting, automatically. So right. that picture I took of you that you, you know, was a little distorted <laughs> uh, actually came out really great. I mean, right. it was, it's, it's a fantastic new feature, and it was not in the Lightroom 3 beta, so people are going to be pretty happy to see that in the shipping version of Lightroom so you, you 3. You still could have used a better model, but it fixed the picture a bit. <laughs> yeah. What about you? You got another one? Yeah, I think you know, the, in the past, I've always found that to be a little bit cumbersome to try to share images online. Now, mm -hmm. with Lightroom, it was really easy to create web galleries, and so mm -hmm. if you had your own website, yeah. it was relatively easy. Mm -hmm. But publishing to other services, you needed to use a plugin, and it wasn't always quite as efficient as I would have liked. Right. Well, now we have the publish feature directly in the library module. I love that. It, it's pretty cool. I really like that. You can define a photo stream, yeah. you can add images to that photo stream at right. any time, right. and then automatically publish it to a variety of services. Now, built in right away is Flickr, Flickr right. but we can add others, you know, smug mug and a variety of others very, very easily. Have you seen over in the right panel, you could add your own comments? The comments, yeah, And you can cool. read the comments all from within the Lightroom workspace. Yeah, yeah you, you type a comment there and it automatically gets published to the yeah. site. Yeah. And if somebody posts a comment about your photo, it it'll show right, up right there in Lightroom. So yeah. through Lightroom, you can interact with the comments about your photos. Yeah. So I, I think this is a, it's a pretty cool feature as far as sharing your images in a, a really very automated way. Yeah, I think it's great. 
I think you see, we both agree that this is a great application and we're very excited to have worked together to make these learning videos that will help you get the most out of Lightroom 3. It's a great program. We really hope that you enjoy our videos, find them useful, and go out there and take some great pictures and make them even better.